works. Who else? Am I taggy? Okay, go. Alzheimer's. Look, I forget to tell you. Episode. Why are you whispering? Am I whispering? Oh my god. Sorry. Alzheimer's. What they forget to tell you. Episode. 25. Vent sank. Pardon? 25. You're not bilingual. I'm trilingual. Okay. All right. Me too. Hi. <laughs> Is there more to that? Kalina can't come on. I don't know what's going on. She's watching though. Yeah, but that's not the point. She can't come on camera. We wanted her. Hmm. Uh, should we... Kalina? Bring Kalina on camera? Adding. Adding. Hi, guys. We are all new to this uh, Facebook Live thing, so we're learning as we go. So just, uh, we appreciate your patience. Just trying to figure it all out. In the meantime, how are you? Not good. Elaborate. Oh, there she is! Oh, but we can't hear you. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh. See? You, you figured it out. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. Hi. We gotta turn it up because we can barely hear her. Or okay. Is there a way you, that we can... Well, do you know how to do that? Because I don't. Okay. Let's see if we can turn Kalina up here. Um. You don't you have an iPad? I do, but it's I think it's on the other side. Listen, my children use the iPad. I don't use it. Oh. oh there we go. Okay. Kalina, can you hear us? Yes. 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 Am I talking loud? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> is there like a delay? Okay, well, Kalina is in Alabama right now. Yes. See technology. Alabama. And she's a caregiver to her grandmother. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Kalina's experiencing technical difficulties as well. Man down. Okay. How do we get the comments going? Because we can't see them when people are reading them. People are reading comments. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess just... Okay, oh. finish? No, because then she's going to come off the screen. I don't know. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ooh. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you props for that. <laughs> okay, so hi, leading lady. Hello, Gian. Hello, Anthony. Um, everybody that just actually tuned in, because we're just noticing everybody. Hey, oh, she can hear. Okay, this is. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> interrupt what? No problem. Okay, no <laughs> problem, no problem. So just yes. saying hello to everybody that's tuning in right now. Um, we have Kalina on with us this week. As Karen was saying before, Kalina is uh, actively actively taking care of her grandmother uh -huh. who is going through the disease as well. Um, Kalina, you can explain or maybe share a little bit of your experience thus far caregiving for your grandmother that would be great and maybe just um share some things that you're going through some questions you might have for her too to kind of compare the u.s and canada and stuff like that so i think kalina she has a a great perspective so you want to just start like um just give a kind of like background on how you started caring for your grandmother yes That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. And how long have you been caregiving? Since 2015. Okay. And, right. and full time. Right. Yeah. Well, I met uh, Monday through Friday, 24 5. And then I get Saturdays and Sundays. I have a little break. My aunt and uncle rotate weekends for me. Give me a break. That's, um, 
Okay. And so we were talking earlier um, about how isolating it is, right? And how... Yes. Yeah. It's very isolating. Like, you don't... And I'm also isolating myself. I'm, I mean, isolate myself and my friends. Yeah. Because I feel like no one can relate to what I'm going through. And uh, it's just very isolating. I have no human contact. And when I say that, like, my heart's pounding because the one lady that I used to confide in her with everything can no longer, you know, respond, understand, doesn't know my name. Yeah. Does she have Alzheimer's? Oh, oh, sorry to hear that. No, I, you said the person that you could. Yeah, oh, she's talking she's so, about okay. Brian. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. About yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can so just, it's like a double loss. Yeah. Yeah. See how painful that is for you. And Rob, yeah, she is very young. So this is just a. How old are you again, Kalina? If you don't mind. Oh, it will get banned. Oh, yes. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do it. You can tell me after. <laughs> I'll we'll tell write you it in the comments. I'll tell you why after. <laughs> I'll tell you. Why. It's like this Facebook page. Oh, no, no, no. You can't. You can't talk about age. Like there's a whole criteria. So I forgot. Okay, okay. I forgot. Ooh, yeah, okay. don't forget the irony. Um, and Cheryl is saying that that's my daughter. She uh, is the best. Yes. Yes, she, she is. See that. Yes, she is. Thank you, Huge sacrifices at such a young age, but you know what? For our loved ones, it's almost like a, it's not even a thought. You just do it because you love your loved one, right? So, yeah, our hat is off to you for sure because uh, I, I sympathize. I can't even imagine how difficult that must be for you. I was, how do I say my age when I was looking at, when I started with my mom? Don't. You were It was entering. 18 years ago. Mm-hmm. You were entering your... <laughs> so, <laughs> that should tell you how old I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why are they so sensitive about numbers? I don't know. I have no idea. It said something about age. I don't age. like to mention it either. I don't like to bring it up either because I feel like I look older. For my what are you talking about? Like Everyone... Like... Didn't you see the comments? They're saying you look so young. You're so young. They think you're young right now. Because she is. I know. But, like, I mean, she's she is in, young. In perspective. Yes. Okay, yeah. let's move on from the age thing because this is yeah. Oh, I'm tapping on the thing again. Don't tap. Don't tap. So, you know, um, and again, if this becomes a little bit difficult for you to speak about it, let's switch the subject or move on to something different because I I know it can you know trigger certain things. Um, you did have some questions about the comparison between the states and Canada. In what way? What were we talking about exactly? Um, okay, so you said when your grandfather passed, you took on the care. So he was doing that full time, I guess. Like, how long? How long has your grandmother had it? She was diagnosed in two thousand and twelve. Okay. But we saw signs before then. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, but the actual diagnosis in two thousand twelve. Right, right. What were some of the signs, if you don't mind me asking, that you guys saw before that made you want to go and get her tested? Okay, sure. Like, uh, we were noticing, or my family was noticing checks being sent off for to pay bills, like twice. Mm. Or my grandmother was driving down a road, particular, uh, that is, she drove down her whole life that I know of, Fun Road, and she was telling me she was on the way back from the grocery store, and she said, all of a sudden, I didn't know where I was. Mm. And I was like, was really scary thinking because she had driven this road forever like like your ghost that I know of so uh, just several little things like that okay yeah okay And then, so when you guys took her to the doctor, the doctor told you guys right away, yes, she actually does have Alzheimer's, or was it a, a series of tests she had to go through, or? Um, I was not actually there, but I do believe there was, there was actually a series of tests, and at first, it came back as um, some sort of cognitive uh the word but 
your mom is your mom is saying that she fed the dog a box of treats in one day oh dear oh yeah because she would always <laughs> food check she loved this dog <laughs> but um back to the question it was i think she was it started in 2012 with the doctor but mm-hmm. maybe the year before 2013 2014 they actually said she has alzheimer's yeah. my current mom well it'll take her a lot of time <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah, I think that's I think that seems to be similar even with my mom's case. Um, she was diagnosed in two thousand, but she was acting a little bit not herself, not her normal self, like in ninety nine and ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Like you can see, like certain things that were different. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But they do say um, Alzheimer's or dementia itself you probably have it 10 years prior to diagnosis. So that would make sense. So yeah, yeah maybe I have it now. Don't even, why do you say things like that? I feel that every time I cannot remember anything. There you, like, there you go, <laughs> there you go. Do you know one time, this is like, I can't remember how, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna tell you this, but I, <laughs> I was at the gas station this is like years ago, like I'm talking about maybe seven years ago, eight years ago. I was at the gas station and I was filling my tank and I'm like, who's the idiot that is didn't shut off their their car? That me. And I locked myself out of my car while it was running, pumping gas at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know but i think it's just stress sometimes you know too much to do too much on your mind okay Mm -hmm. so um what else did we want to talk about oh so all right so when you started looking after your grandmother were there any supports right away as far as no, like, um, I guess what I'm talking about, I'm trying to compare the two, like, Alabama and Ontario. Like, if you got any personal support worker hours, any, was there any subsidized hours? Did, was there any help other than you? No? No. Well, of course, uh, my mom helped some in the beginning. She had a stroke. And then... Uh, oh, my. So there's nothing awesome. set up in terms, okay, we have a thing, um, we have a, an organization called, it used to be called Community Care As- Access Center, and now it's LIN, which is I think the Local Health Integration Network, so which is um, an agency, well, it's part of our healthcare system. So they will send a case manager in your home to assess like needs and then a lot a certain amount of hours that you are covered for which you don't have to pay so there's nothing like that there mm, so when you make the decision to actually take care of your loved one in home it all falls on you there's absolutely no assistance from coming from anywhere from the state or the government um, I suppose, okay like for instance whenever my grandmother fell and fractured her hip last she was sent to a 21 day rehab facility and then after um, home health not hospice just home health came in the home and her medicaid paid for this okay so Um, kind of i guess so it has to be i guess symptomatic so i'm assuming if you have a cognitive which is sad because i just want to understand so if you have a cognitive or neurological issue, you don't get assistance. It has to be a physical issue. Because how did you get hospice? Like, why is it different now? Um, okay, the home health, they were coming out every two weeks and they just felt like they weren't doing enough. Uh, they told me about and I told my aunt and everything about hospice. They called my aunt and uncle, and there was a nurse come out and assess us. 
Yeah. My grandmother qualified. So, um, I guess. Nope, I guess that, I think that's the difference. I think hospice here is like end of life. Like. That's how it used to be here. Okay. Like when you thought, how, like when you heard hospice was coming out of someone's house, you knew yeah. that it was going to be soon. Yeah, yeah. And so when they were like, do you need hospice? I was like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, palliative, right, okay. Yeah, because like I see some of the videos too, even with your grandmother, and she's like, like my mom is like way past that, like completely, right? Like she's really end of life. So that's what was confusing to me with the definition of hospice, because here, as like I said, you have to be within three months palliative. of, but not just palliative, you have to be three months of death, basically, okay. to qualify here. For someone to come in the home and fully take over or I guess I probably would get more hours um, if my mom had other health issues so like I guess if she was on any machines or you know but like her morphine is liquid right so nothing she's not on anything like any needles or anything so that's probably another reason why she doesn't get the full 24 hour thing she's not high maintenance no she's low maintenance she's low maintenance like her daughter <laughs> why do you have to drink water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what what was what's that all about Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think that was too much what are you trying to say just say it I'm we're hot. all friends here I'm hot Okay. Hmm. That wasn't necessary. But the hospice here is great. Uh, they have fat days that come in and help me three days a week. I mean, they could come five days a week, but we just decided three days a week. They help me. They help give my grandmother a bath, uh, shampoo her hair, and the nurse always also comes out uh, two to three times okay. a week. Okay, I'm just going to pause you there. Why did you say that she can come five, but we only say three. Let's well, see. Um, just because we don't really get her out that much, and I don't think it's, I don't want to say yes, sounding she doesn't need a bag every day, because it's just easier on her. She doesn't like getting wet. Okay. You know, like, I just was... She Okay, okay, okay. She's like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. More yeah. So we, we turned it down to 30 days. Okay. I was just thinking, like, you were thinking, like, no, because um, I just think any help that you can get, you should take. That's all. I was thinking from your perspective, not hers, but okay, that makes sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Did your mom have issue, too, when she had to take a shower or a bath? early on no 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 mm. but we're you, you know but you know like we're like where do you think i get it from like you didn't you probably don't know this about like why don't you just tell her so she's not confused why do you have to keep drinking water every mm -hmm. time just tell her she thinks i have a problem she has a problem i do not have a problem she has a problem well what who showers? Well, like, who showers seven times a day? Who? Do not shower okay, seven sorry, times. six. Who showers six times a day? She does. And then tells me, well, it's not a problem. I have to go home and shower again because it's only been six. You know she's exaggerating. Six times a day. You know she's exaggerating. Her. No. No. This one. No. We. I shower twice a day. No, no. Every, every day. No, like every day. Every day. And in the summer, it's worse. Okay? Every day. Wow. 
So I guess maybe that's why my mom doesn't have an issue with showering. <laughs> I guess that's why. So when you're asking, does my mom, I think she just recollects always showering. Yeah, they just like water. <laughs> We're just water people. <laughs> Anyways, no, I think that's probably why. That's probably why she doesn't have an issue, is what I'm saying. She probably would, because I know, like, things, everything is confusing, right? So maybe a shower would, might be confusing. So Abigail says, my mummy with dementia wanted to shower a whole day. See? Then there's a flip side. Somebody wants to, you know, stay in the shower, because maybe it's comforting. Yeah, it was horrifying. It's comforting. Mm -hmm. it's comforting not for her grandma no exactly but you know yeah for you for sure okay okay so i want to show you something okay you want to bring it up sure so isabel well her name's karen with a k she spells it wrong isabel her name's karen potts isabel's her middle name and um i was fortunate to have have connected with her through another friend of mine and she I've never heard of these until now um have you heard of twiddle muffs she has because I think I've seen her grandmother playing with really something like this Kalina you've heard of twiddle muffs um on Instagram no she hasn't you posted something like a, maybe a week ago or, where you had your grandma playing um, is it quilt? yeah like a quilt yeah, I saw her playing with some sort of quilt and fabrics and stuff like that. That's what reminded me of this. Uh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it's similar to this. So they're called Twiddle Muffs, but I think they're they're from, I think, basically started in, in England, in the UK. And I wish they had them when my mom was first diagnosed because um, they have a li they have, I guess, it occupies... Their time. Their time. There's little things inside that they can play with. Because, you know, like, they're always, like, fiddling. Um, even, and all of them are different. Oh, and they're all recycled materials, right? Yep. Yeah. So and she, donated. So little gadgets and, and I, stuff they can I play try, with. We are going to sell them because I, it's all going to go towards Alzheimer awareness. And I want to give back to the people that actually do knit them. Mm -hmm. Is it, is that, you put it on? Oh. It's a muff. You know what a muff? No, I don't. I'm new to this too. You're <laughs> introducing this thing. I am no different. Gosh. But you, like this. Like a twiddle. It's a muff. So you go like this and then it occupies their, their hands, right? Like they're like, you know, they fid fidget. fidget. Yeah. Fidget and even um, apparently they're made too for um, people that have autism. It's just to just keep them occupied with stuff to do with their hands. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's, it's a very great idea. Also, yeah. Women who like, like my grandmother sewed her whole mouth. So when she's doing that quilt, I'm thinking, I don't say, hey, do you want to play with your quilt? I just say, why don't you work on your quilt? Work well, on it, yes. Yeah, you have Yeah, because she always sewed. My mom, too. She did. Yes, your mom used to make my ballet costumes. Yeah. Yes, she was a good sewer. Even when she first got uh, diagnosed, she would sew everything still. Is it binding? Yeah, it was giving me some spots. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea too. I, I, I had, I, it, see, it would be a wonderful item. So, we're getting back to the twiddle muff. I believe that Karen and it's she sews with a, a group and they are doing this all for charity but I believe they should get paid for their their work and it should go to Alzheimer awareness so I was googling and um, on Amazon they're like $96 say who but there's no way yeah I know right like what's in there well, it depends on the type of activity you're sewing on. I know, like, what's it. going on in that twiddle muff? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I think more, more, something more is going on with that twiddle muff on Amazon. But okay, uh, we're gonna just figure out a reasonable price. Like maybe I'm thinking maybe twenty dollars for each, and then we can give back so that they continue to make them. 
because it's uh, an Alzheimer's society, a group of, of women that donate them. That's wonderful. That's really great work. And yeah, really and it's nice. time and it's, I think it's great. And I wish I could have benefited from it, but I'm sure other people can. So my, okay, sorry. I just want to read this here. My Jamie, mom. Um, my mom passed this time last year. I remember the difficulty we had getting any assistance. Although she was immobile for the last two years, Medicare considered her care custodial in nature and therefore excluded her from medical covered benefits. All of her care therefore fell to the family. Oh my gosh. The last two years, she was still trying to get out of bed, each time requiring short hospitalization. Her discharge would be followed by short-term stunts of home health and physical therapy. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, it's... No, I'm, I'm finished. Because though she made no physical improvement, they don't, 10, 12 years later, it was stopped. So, so we were getting back to what we were talking about. Alzheimer's, because it's such a cognitive neurological disorder and it's not physical, I guess, in your state, they don't consider that to be an issue. And maybe you only got care when your grandmother fractured her hip because then it was physical so that's that's very unfortunate and that has to change yeah yes. that has to change we need to do, we need to uh, you know it's so challenging and it shouldn't matter if it's physical or cognitive an impairment is an impairment I agree so that's good to know I'm glad that I found that out and glad thank you for sharing Jamie Thank you. And sorry to hear about your mom passing. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a link on how you can get a twiddle muff if you, and even if, I think, you, well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out, but I think it's, um, I think people should, should be able to get this. I really wish, honestly, I really wish my mom could have had one. Yeah. I wish I were around right now. Yeah. Her she would have loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so, uh, anything else? I think that's, uh, that's, that's very informative. To so, Kalina, guys. are you comfortable? You want to be a regular? Sure. First, at first, my heart was pounding. <laughs> I can barely get my words out. Oh, girl, you got this. <laughs> You're a natural. Now you have to start dancing. I'll teach you how to do the robot. I have to work on the robot. Yes. Yeah, it needs work. It, it needs work. But but we'll we'll go over it. I got some notes for you. Okay. We'll, okay. we'll definitely yeah, work on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And again, just wanted to put it out there, you guys. Um. As usual, we're always grateful for the support and, you know, all of you tuning in, commenting and following. That means a lot to all of us. And thanks for everyone's concern about my health issues. That's all you got? I don't know what they are, so, yeah. She's feeling somewhat better today, but we're still waiting. Yeah. Yes. Whatever it may be. Right. May you find some answers. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm looking for. Some answers. Yeah. Answers help. Yeah. So I have to do some more testing, and then we'll see. Yeah. But you're good, man. You're good. You just need a little headlock. That's all. You just need a little chokehold. You're good to go. I got her. We good. Woohoo! All right. So we're gonna wrap this up, or what's happening? Yeah. That was good. Thank you, Kalina, so much. Um, it means that we have a lot of work to do to advocate for people with Alzheimer's. For sure. And caregivers. And obviously, um, see, you did great. Your mom says you did great. Yes, she did. You guys are the real MVPs. Seriously, 
all you caregivers out there that are sacrificing your time and you know your patience and your love and everything to take care of the people that you love you guys are the real MVPs people don't understand what you guys go through in a day and my hat is off to all of you so don't ever you know don't ever sit there and think that you guys are not appreciated because you are to the moon and back and your loved ones there's no words to express how they must feel if they knew what was really going on you know it's just it's unconditional love you guys are really great okay so until next week um <laughs> what you keep giving me side eye and i think i'll take it because you're not feeling well but then as soon as you like get better